If you are new to installing operating systems, I would recommend asking me any questions you might have, before starting this process. Hello. Today, I will be teaching you how to install Linux on a Windows 7, or older machine. If you have a Windows 8, or newer computer, you can check the link in the description for my video on how to install Linux for that machine. We will be doing a clean install of the Linux operating system. What that means is that we will be deleting your whole computer and putting on a system called Linux. I would highly recommend that you back up any valuable files that you have on your machine. If you have an old PC and you don't mind losing the data, this install is perfect for you. The things you will need, 1. A working PC with internet access. 2. A PC to install Linux on. 3. A blank USB flash drive. 4. The UNET booting program. 5. The ISO file. Using the PC that is internet access, you are going to go to this website to download a program called, UNET booting. From here you will click on the Windows button, and download the EXE. Next, go to this website. Click on the 64-bit option. Click on the first option that you see. In my case it will be the 18.04.2 LTS. Scroll down, and click on the option that ends with an ISO. With all the programs downloaded, plug in your USB flash drive and launch the UNET booting program. In the pop-up click yes. From within, UNET booting, click on the option that says disk image. On the other side, you will see three dots. Click on them, and locate that ISO that you have downloaded. Make sure that the drive option has the correct letter of the flash drive you wish to install Linux on. This will delete the whole flash drive. Click OK. If you get any other warning just click OK. The next part is a little tricky. You have to search the internet for the boot option key of your PC. If you own a Dell or a Lenovo, your boot key is F12. HP should be either F9, or F10 for desktops. Now. Remove the drive and plug it into the laptop you wish to install Linux on. Now, completely turn off the computer that you are going to install Linux on. With the flash drive plugged into the PC, you are going to press the power button. As soon as you press the power button, keep pressing the boot key over and over again. Do not stop pressing it until you see a screen that looks a little like this. From here you will choose your flash drive. From this menu, you can either wait 10 seconds, or just click on default. And after a little while, you'll be greeted with this screen. After booting from the flash drive, I would encourage you to use the OS. To see if you like it, before making the final switch. That is, if you haven't deleted your hard drive already. After you are done testing out the OS, you are going to click this icon here, to install the operating system. If you are not happy with Linux, you can just restart the computer and you should boot back into Windows. That is if you did not delete the hard drive. And soon enough you'll be greeted with the welcome screen. Here, choose your language, and click on continue. Select the keyboard layout. You don't need to connect to Wi-Fi. Here, choose normal install, and click on continue. Here, you're going to choose the first option, erase disk and install Ubuntu Mate. This will delete your whole hard drive. Everything you have on your hard drive will be deleted forever. So make sure you have nothing important on your hard drive before continuing. And click on continue. Select location, and click on continue. Fill in your username, PC name, password, and click continue. Wait for it to install. Click restart. As the computer restarts, quickly unplug your Linux flash drive from the computer. Within moments you'll be greeted with your new Linux desktop. Enjoy.